how you doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain and the new Fusion Silver and Fusion Black Crystal Vision Projection Screens. Now, today we're going to talk about research, research and projector, projectors. Research is very important. If you don't do research, you can end up in the end looking like a fool or an idiot, okay? And I'll tell you why research is very important. When I first started my company, I must have watched a ton of videos on so many different demonstrations, on so many different projectors, on so many different screens to do something different. I didn't want to be in the same category as everybody else. Everybody was doing demonstrations in dark environments, they were using these high-end power projectors. I, I just didn't see it that way. I thought that there had to be, you had to do something different. So one of the things I noticed that when I started doing my research before I decided to go into this line of business was that I wanted a projection screen of myself, my, for myself. And what I saw was I saw a lot of people out there with these very high-end projectors, and these are very expensive projectors. Some of the projectors I saw were like $3,000. Um, they were like uh, $5,000, some were ten, some were even $50,000 projectors. Now, when a customer comes in, I personally know this because I went through it myself, when they come in and see this really beautiful, amazing looking screen, and they're thinking, they're thinking to themselves like, wow, what kind of projector are they using, all right? Now, usually when you watch these demonstrations, when you're watching uh, the uh, Firehawk G4, you're watching uh, Supernova, you know, these high-end screens, these guys are using some very, very high-tech projectors. We're talking about some very expensive projectors. And the customer cannot relate to a projector that costs $3,000, $5,000, $10,000. They just can't relate to it. And this is the reason why we use low-entry-level 720p projectors. I have a 1080p projectors right there sitting on the floor. It's my NEC Short Throw. And right there in the back, I have the NEC VT595, which is 2,000 lumens. And it's an 07 or 08 projector. It's very cheap. Now, it's easy to make a projector look amazing if you're doing it in a pitch black environment. If you're doing 4K upscaling, if you're adding little perks onto it, it's going to look amazing. But it's hard to make a projector look good when you're doing it in a fully lit environment, when you're doing it with white walls, which generate 10 times more light, and you're doing it with a projector that is about 10 feet back from the screen, and then you have to consider the fact that it has to cut through all that light, regardless if it's 2,000 lumens, by the time it cuts through all that light and hits the screen, the 2,000 lumens have pretty much diminished, and you don't have uh, much of a lumen count before you hit that screen. So the screen has to be to produce a beautiful picture, whether it's short throw or long throw, it has to be to produce a perfect picture on either level. Either it's 1080p or it's 720p, the picture should look fantastic. So this is why my customers can come and go, hmm, all right, I can use long throw, okay, I can use short throw, okay, it doesn't make a difference if my projector is uh, a little lower than the 2000 lumens because we've done demonstrations on projectors that were uh, 48 lumens 320 by 240 that's a really crappy projector but yeah we've done projectors that low so it allows our customers to see that i can execute a beautiful picture even if i have a projector that um that that's lower than this projector or higher than this projector so if you're using an epson 24 2545 or if you're using a benq ms500 you know 1720p one is actually um, um 1080p then you know you know that your projector is going to be either better or equal or even if it's even lower than this, we have projectors, like I said, we've done tests that are lower than the 720p projector. So it allows you to be able to relate to the equipment that we're using. So in the back of your mind, you're not thinking, I have to have this expensive projector. I have to do 4K upscaling. I have to do, I have to calibrate my projector. None of my projectors are calibrated. Each one of these projectors have different settings. The, this is my, uh, let me see, this is my short throw. This is my NEC M300XS. This is my short throw projector, it has different settings. And then over here, I have my uh, NEC VT595 projector at uh, 720p. Yeah, 720p. So, you know, and on top of that, just to add insult to injury, this is the toy projector I use from time to time. I'll do a demonstration on this one too. Uh, this is a toy projector. This is 48 lumens. So, you know, we do our demonstrations on these projectors to show you that, look, you don't have to have a high power projector. You can relate to our demonstration. So let me come over here and show you this. Like I said, fully lit environment. All my lights are on. My um, environment is not um, ambient light controlled. There's a light switch, turn it on, lights come on, that's it. 
So here's my uh, 720p projector, 40 lit room. And we're about 10 feet back from the screen. And you guys can see for yourself. This is why customers can come in and relate. When I saw those demonstrations, I saw how beautiful the screen looked. And then I saw the projector and I went online. I looked up the projector for the cost. $3,000 for a projector. Can't relate to that. I can't relate to that. You know, but my customers can come in and see me using a projector at 720p. That's 600 by 800 res and go, hey, look, my projector is better than that. You may have the Epson uh, 2545. That projector is way better than this. It is way better than this NEC VT595. And look at the picture quality I'm getting in a fully lit room. I don't have to turn my lights out. So let's come over here and let's check out the angle gain. All right, so I can come over here into my dining room over here and look at my screen with the lights on. Look, the camera's gonna tilt there for a minute. Sorry about that. Any angle. That's me hitting a box behind me, another screen that just came in today. From any angle, 720p projector, 10 feet back. And that's my long throw. Now, come over here. We are going to hit the lights. Because some of you guys want to see it with the lights up. So, what's the difference with the lights up? I'm going to tell you something. Any projector is going to look fantastic with the lights up. Let me tell you that from the door. Any projector is going to look fantastic with the lights up. The hard part is trying to get the screen to look amazing with the lights on. So if you're seeing somebody doing a lot of their demonstrations, every demonstration, majority out of 100, 90% of their demonstrations are done in dark environments. It just proves that the screen has very poor gain capability. And they'll shy away. The camera, they'll, they'll never have the camera really. The, the environment that we use in here, we don't shy away from. But they will shy away from this kind of environment. Like I said, easy. It's a cakewalk. It's a cakewalk doing a demonstration with the lights off. It's a cakewalk. It's too easy. Alright, so we'll come over here. We'll disconnect the NEC. And we'll put in the um we'll put in the whatchamacallum. Put in the short throw. And there's my short throw. This is a 3000 lumen projector, my short throw. Come over right here into the kitchen. Oh, actually, dining room. See what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. You don't have to spend a lot for a projector. It doesn't make a difference if it's 720p. I mean, yeah, your picture quality is going to change. It's going to be a lot better because, like I said, if you upgrade, you know, it's going to be a lot better. This is a 3,000 lumen projector, short though. That's a 2,000 lumen projector. This is where the smart technology gain is freaking amazing because these screens will adjust to any form of actually majority of most of the looming count but the environment it can accommodate the environment the, the um the lighting in the environment to actually accommodate the projector so there's no calibration i have to i don't have to do calibrating i don't have to calibrate any of my projectors at all i can go out and buy me a projector from 05 off ebay a crappy freaking projector and it'll still look fantastic This is why we use these low entry level projectors. This is why. Because my customer can come in and go, hey, look, I can relate to that projector. That projector only costs 50 bucks. You can look at that NEC VT595 projector and say, wow, that projector is only $50. That projector, is, you can get it for $60. Some places $75. Some places even at $160. That's still cheaper than going out and spending, thinking you have to spend $1,000, $2,000. $3,000, $10,000 for a projector just to get a beautiful screen.
Okay guys, I'm Kenneth Bird from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Game. We'll do this one with the lights out too also. Boom. Hope you guys enjoyed the video demonstration. You know, I do these demonstrations, Not, I'm not arrogant. I don't think I'm better than anybody else. This is a lot of people don't want to do the research. They don't want to do the homework. And I'll come out here and I'll show you, look, this is the difference between this and this is the difference between that. I'll back up everything that I talk about. And if you hate on it, I don't care. The bottom line is this is what I do. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm not gonna turn on all the lights. I'm not gonna hit the screen with a high power projector. I'm not gonna do that because it's smoke and mirrors to me. It's too freaking easy. There's no challenge in it at all whatsoever. If there's no challenge, there's no point in doing it. You know what I mean? I don't want my customers coming in thinking that they have to have 4K upscaling. You have to calibrate your projector to have a per Nobody wants to go through that crap, man. Simply, just set the freaking projector up paint the screen sit down enjoy it with your family all that other nonsense about sanding and priming and calibrating and upscaling you know nobody want to deal with all that nonsense they just don't okay maybe if you're a tech buff and you this is what you like this is what you like hats off to you i accommodate you on it i do but for for some of us we don't want that we don't want to go through all that we just want to set it up and have a beautiful picture and this is what you're seeing. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. I have more work to do. Hope you guys have a, is it Friday? I work so much, I don't even know what day it is. All right, so I gotta, I gotta get moving. I got a lot of work to do. I have, uh, oh, the Fusion, uh, we got, we, okay, it's not tension, but we do have a Fusion uh, uh, Silver uh, motorized screen coming in 169. That's coming in today, so I'm doing videos on that. And that black screen, and when I was telling you about the tension screen, it's going to be coming in somewhere around next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cannot wait. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for watching.